part one of the vlog, we looked at how to get steam up in a traction engine and what the various controls are. I'll put a link in the description to that first part of the vlog. Now, in the second part, we're gonna look at how we drive it on the road. Yep. Okay, so this engine's got two gears. Uh, they're hidden underneath here. Um, the gears, you saw the engine ticking over. When, as soon as the engine's engaged, the gears are in and locked in, so it's not like a car with a clutch. The gears work very simply. They just slide it on the crankshaft. So we've got a low speed gear, which yep. is you can tell by the smaller gear there. And we've got a high speed gear on the right hand side. So there's quite a big difference between the two. Very simple, as you saw there. That's out of gear, that's in gear. What you might have to do is where the gears might not line up, just turn the flywheel yep. slightly. And then just put your locking pin in and away you go. What you have to be careful of sometimes, it is possible to engage both gears at the same time. Um, Sometimes I've got like a locking mism which running out, but it can, it can happen. It's very unlikely you cause any damage because if you did that, quite simply, the engine just won't move because you'll have both gears engaged. But again, bad practice. So just on this one, it's quite easy to remember. Over to the left is out of gear. Over to the right is in gear on both. Okay. So moving off, we do exactly what we did before. Reverser all the way forward, and then just gently open up the regulator. Just stuck there slightly, so flicker over. Let's go up the steep hill. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, what's, what's that? Neutral? That's a neutral, neutral at the moment, yeah. yeah. So we can take that fully forward. Full forward, yeah. That's Bucket in slot. Place. And then we're talking about. You don't have to do yeah, the hand yeah. on the flywheel all the time, just open it first. So, so shut the regulator off, give her a little flick. What you can also do, the other trick you've got, I'll show you this one. You can come back on this. shut the regulator off and normally that'll hold the engine back enough but then what you can do is in effect use the cylinder as like a compressor so as you go down the hill if you find the engine's racing away a bit or you want to slow it down quicker than what just shutting that off will do 
what you can do is just hold that up and gently bring it back. And we'll do it when we get down there. But you'll feel it. So what happens is in effect your by because the regulator shaft, what you're in effect doing is then using the cinder as like a big compressor because the seam can't get out because the valves are thrown around. So by holding that back, what you're then doing is then forcing you're basically forcing the steam against the valve. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so reverse the forward first. So yeah, when when you do that, so that should go now. You see where the piston is. Yeah. If what happened where it went before it went over, okay, you can either shut your regulator off and give it a little flick, or what you can do, what I did, pull that one back, the whole lot will roll back. As you flick it forward, open the regulator off at the same time and then that'll allow it all to go. It's just getting that piston off the dead centre point. Yeah. So hopefully. And also give it a big hand. About the steering, just shut it off. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the trick because you can't steer quick enough. Yeah.
been a bit of a fuck this bit. <laughs> you want that? Yeah, hold on a sec, let's just take her out. Set that one across. This gear is so high on this, and this bit here is just an absolute little... Oh, okay, so that's the back all forward, the yeah. brake off, and then just like that. That's how we ended an absolutely incredible day at Legacy Vehicles. Tom, thank you so much for the day. Really look forward to seeing you again. For people that have been asking, um, you can find out when the next videos come out. Just hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate it if you also hit the like button um, and share it with anybody that you think would like to see it. And put any comments in the bottom if you think of other things that I ought to be thinking about when looking at a steam engine. Thanks, everyone. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs> Makes it work. <laughs> <laughs>